Welcome to Psychology, the Daf. We are in Gemara, Yoma, Daf, Yud, Ches. Our Gemara records a seemingly bizarre practice of Rav and Rav Nachman. When they would travel to a foreign city, they would seek a temporary wife so as to save them from temptation. Needless to say, this Gemara runs against modern sensibilities. But not just for moderns, Ben Yoyado also cannot accept this Gemara literally, as stated. He finds it repugnant that anyone, let alone rabbis, could behave in such a coarse manner. He suggests it was a specific theatrical act to rebuke aging bachelors in those particular cities, as if to say, I can get married, why can't you? Regardless, it's a difficult shot. The Gemara raises its own series of questions about this odd practice and eventually concludes that they did not necessarily marry these women, but rather made arrangements that they could marry them if they chose. See Tosfas for more details. Regardless, this Gemara comes close to validating what would sound to our modern ears as the objectification of women, as if to say the fear of having a lustful thought or a seminal emission is so great that a substitute pinch hitter wife must be procured. Indeed, some people use thinking like this to pressure their wives to be sexual with them. Otherwise, it would be their fault causing their husbands to sin. I must say, I am not confident that I understand this Gemara. However, I can be confident about what it's not saying. Ben Yoyoda tries to come up with a workable interpretation, which is up to you to judge whether or not it works, but certainly he could not accept the simple reading. The reality is, is that it's disgusting and repugnant to use a woman in this way. Now, of course, there is a concept of having a fulfilling and mutual sex life that will help mitigate lustful and sinful behavior. However, that is different than giving a wife a guilt trip, expecting her to take responsibility for your own mismanaged impulses. The Gemara M'sochem, Amdaf Mem Testament Beis, and especially look at Tosfus over there, considers a person who engages his wife sexually out of coercion instead of arousing her through romance and love to be like a beast. Men out there, while well, you might acknowledge that it's your responsibility and role to have children, how would it feel if your wife said to you, I need you to make children for me? Would you feel valued or objectified? It is in interesting that the few times in the Torah where we see the forefathers become angry is in Yaakov's reply to what appears to be Rachel's demand to make her pregnant. See Bracious, Perak, Lamed, Pasuk, Aleph, and Beis. In fact, I have noticed that the one time that stereotypically men feel used sexually un and unable to form is when there are fertility issues. Most people would say that, generally speaking, men do not need as much foreplay to become aroused and ready to be sexual. Most men would usually not complain to their wives that they feel used and objectified. However, when there's a fertility issue and there's a requirement to perform at a particular time or hour, there are many men who suddenly become impotent and feel objectified and pressured. It is important to understand that regardless of what one's role and responsibility is, no one wants to be treated as an object. Please, folks, use common sense and don't allow misinterpreted Gemaras to rationalize beastly behavior.